with Allied forces in the Dutch East Indies, so close to victory yet so far away, the need for reinforcements for the invasion of Singapore is greater than ever. This leads Allied commanders to make the dangerous yet unavoidable decision to send Allied shipping loaded with troops and supplies to the front lines in small groups and individually, all unescorted. Any encounter with the enemy could prove disastrous for the campaign to win back the port of Singapore. As those ships head to the front lines, the main transport convoy, battered by air attacks, heads back to Darwin. The crews on these ships are going to be grateful to be back in a friendly port, but they know they won't be there long, as plenty of supplies, troops, engineering, and fuel need to go to the front. Those ships not capable of making the journey will stay in Darwin to be repaired and deployed later. Meanwhile, on the front lines, Cruiser Group 2, although low on ammo, will remain on station to provide an intercepting force for any incoming Japanese convoys. They worry that the next convoy that they encounter won't be an unescorted supply convoy, but a battle convoy, complete with battleships and aircraft carriers. The main U.S. battle fleet, containing Boise, Houston, and Warspite, along with escorting light cruisers and destroyers, makes their way further north than they've ever dared to go. Their presence in the area puts them at risk of air attack, but it also gives them the opportunity to do serious damage to the Imperial Japanese Navy. as HMS Hermes is battered by a tropical storm. Her complement of swordfish take to the skies and head north. The decision to preemptively launch the attack biplanes is controversial to say the least, but like every other major decision in theater so far, deemed as an essential act to further the cause of the allies in the Dutch East Indies. One group that welcomes the rough seas and heavy weather are the Submariners aboard USS Skipjack, Sturgeon, Porpoise, Salmon, Sori, along with French Submarine, Sir Couf. They know that in the rough seas, Japanese sonar operators will have a harder time detecting them, which means a greater probability of a successful attack and an even greater possibility of a successful escape. With these sailors being truly the front line in the Dutch East Indies of Allied forces, any advantage they can get, including one provided by Mother Nature, is more than welcome. Hello, hello, and welcome once again, J76NY here. Episode number 94, day 147, in our endless campaign to win back the Dutch East Indies from the evil Imperial Japanese horde. It is 29th of June, 1942, at 8.24 in the morning, and as, as you saw in the intro, we've got some rough weather. Uh, it's going to work out okay for our submarines, hopefully. Uh... Everyone else, man, maybe not so much. Uh, we do have uh, planes from the 
carrier up and inbound to the uh, area up here in between um, Singapore and the Japanese main base. Uh, we're going to put them on anything that happens to show up. Uh, they don't have the best of range, so I've moved the Hermes and her escorts a little further north. Uh, swordfish are going to loiter around in this area until they see something. Uh, if they see a carrier, they're all dead. Just plain and simple, they're all going to get shot down. But I think it's a uh, risk worth taking. We can always send Hermes back to um, re-up her air wing if need be. It'll take forever, but we can do that. Uh, Sumatra, uh, we're looking at 6,500 troops, about 5,000 supplies. Uh, the fuel and engineering are inbound. That's going to give us the opportunity to upgrade the airfield. Um, I'm going to upgrade it as much as I can without completely wiping out my supplies. Uh, we've got a couple of brave merchant marine convoys coming up uh, with the rest of uh, the troops and supplies, at least as much as they can carry. We've still got some troops. A uh, decent amount of supplies, a shit ton of engineering and fuel that we have to get up there. Um, so we're going to be working on that as we go along. Uh, the goal is to be able to provide air cover for this entire area as we move our forces back in. Um, the one thing that is and has caused me a lot of problems is doing anything around in this area and then getting pounded with air. I've lost quite a few ships uh, due to that. Luckily, nothing was overly critical, but that's not saying that the future is going to be bright and shiny. Like I said in the other episode, this is our main target. We're going to try and retake this when we have a good amount of troops, between ten and 15,000 here. We're going to try and retake this. This is another victory objective that we're going to have to take. But once this is in our control and headed towards a level 5 airfield, uh, we're going to pull the troops off, send them back, retake this, leave a good amount there, and then send the rest back to these two bases to kind of hold the line. That's the plan going forward. We'll see if the uh, Japanese play along or if they throw a fuck into me. Like they have several times. Sorry for the language. Sit back and then relax and enjoy episode number 94. Our swordfish here have some Japanese torpedo bombers. Oh, uh, well, our ships are in the area too. So, we're gonna try and get our swordfish out of here so they don't get shot down. They could uh, be very useful if it came time to uh, get a submarine. I mean, a carrier. Uh, we're going to get out of here. Cruiser Group 2 is also in the area, unfortunately. I'm not going to try and tangle with the uh, torpedo planes here. Uh, we do have to start doing some maneuvers here with these uh, ships. Go so, Tromp. Let's see. Have everyone turn your radar on. Shouldn't have a problem spotting any of these guys. Not going to do any maneuvers right at the moment. I'm just going to get them up to uh, up to speed. And they're already coming in on us. These are well, these are bombers. Oh, so. like they may be going for dragon. We've got bombers, bombers, torpedo planes, and more torpedo planes. It does look like they're kind of trying to switch who they're going for. I don't see any of them going for Whipple. 
We'll start maneuvering her just in case. Uh, Trump looks like they're the target of that one and they missed. Well, everybody reverse your turns. Whipple may be a victim of this drop here. Luckily, they didn't. All right, turn Whipple. Prompt you turn as well. We did shoot one of them down. It's a bonus. Uh, Dragon. Uh oh. All right, we're going to miss with you. You've got to turn the other way or you're going to run into... Your shipmate here, Dragon. Start making your turn. Adelaide Trump just barely missed. Collision. Uh-oh, Dragon's. Looks like she's turning the right way. Just go straight for now. Right now we got some coming in on Whipple. Whipple can dodge if she doesn't capsize in the process. Uh, Adelaide was hit by a bomb. Holy shit, Adelaide was hit by a bomb. That's not good. Speed's down to 36%. Alright, turn. Prompt, you turn as well. Uh, Dragon's got to start making a turn this way. I think we may be uh, losing poor Adelaide here. It's down to six knots. I don't think there's much she's going to be able to do. Oh, look at that. All right. Looks like Tromp's doing okay. Adelaide's dead. She can barely move. Uh, Dragon. Yeah, there we go. One by two. Goodbye. Sorry, Adelaide. But if these guys drop on Adelaide too, that's... unfortunate for them. They did. Uh-oh, Whipple. Keep up your turn. Adelaide was struck by another torpedo and sunk. Whipple's probably next. Unless we can get lucky here. Oh, turn back the other way. Come on, dodge it. Dodge it, baby, dodge it. Wow, look at that. That was luck. I'd say that was pure luck right there. This guy still got his torpedo. I think he does. Yes, he does. Something just blew up. All right, turn back the other way, Trump. Jet. Probably would help if I selected him, right? Can you get him down? Can you get him down? That was a close drop, too. All right, looks like Trump. Uh-oh. Dragon. Straighten out. Dragon's going to get hit. He isn't, isn't going to be able to respond in time. Maybe it's a dud. Oh, it's a dud! Sweet! The other one just barely missed. Oh, boy. All right, Whipple, go north, Dragon, go north. Trump, gonna have you turn so you don't run into that torpedo and then you're, you'll go north too. Unfortunately for Adelaide, this is the, uh, someone just blew up. What's blowing up out here? 
There's poor Adelaide on the bottom of the ocean. I hate to see it, but... I mean, we don't have a whole lot of cruisers left. But I'm not going to just really deceive myself and say I'm never going to take any losses in this campaign, so... Adelaide, unfortunately, becomes one of those losses. Engagement number two for cruiser group two. Not much of a group anymore, just these three ships. I may have to uh, actually merge them up uh, with the uh, main group out there, or the um, carriers, the carrier. Uh, we do have uh, more torpedo bombers coming in on us. We've got 12. So uh, three groups of four. We're heading right for them. Already firing our uh, secondaries in defense here. All right, Trump is doing 25. So we'll get you up to 29. Get you up to 29. Whipple is at 31. All right, we're going to have to do some dodging here, some major dodging. There's the first group of four right there. all three groups we got one heading right for us one that's probably going for dragon and one that's going for whipple so uh, dragon burn you Gonna turn you into him. Speed built up. Maybe Whipple can uh, take some of them down before they do any damage to Trump. Oh, they're not going for. All right, there's two of them. Two of them dropped. Can we crash back? Get out of this. Because that's who they're going for. They're going for... Oh, we're dead. We're dead. Whipple's even going to take one if she's not careful. Oh, so close. I don't think Dragon's going to make out too good. There's two that are going to hit. Heavy and moderate. Well, we managed to dodge at least one of them. It looks like uh, one missed. So we're going to come to a stop here. Let these other two, tor three or four torpedoes pass by. Uh, Whipple did a good job of dodging, so did Trump. Adelaide was just uh, not maneuverable enough, I guess. And those those aren't gonna hit us, so not too worried about it. So we'll get uh Dragon repaired as best we can. Haven't lost any of her guns yet, so there's that. There's the torpedoes running out of steam right next to us. Thinking you might be able to see them underwater falling to the bottom of the ocean. Oh. 
Well, that was a thought. All right, get yourself fixed up, Dragon, and then we'll uh, go from there. All right, we do have another sighting. Another nice juicy convoy for our swordfish who have torpedoes this time. There they are. There's uh, six of them. Also in the area, we do have the porpoise. Uh, porpoise is out here. Uh, she's maneuvering. I might just send her out in front of the convoy. Actually, I'm thinking they're probably going to start dodging here pretty quick, so... I haven't given any targets to the porpoise yet. Um, I'm going to see what this convoy does, but I do want to focus on my planes for now. Alright, so what is this convoy made up of? We've got this guy... This troop ship. We got a wide variety. Uh, who we're gonna attack first is the troop ship. All right, you. I want you to come in at a little better angle. All right, we'll just have them go in and attack. Hey, okay. actually looking pretty good. We haven't given this guy a target yet. Uh, I'll have you come in on number one here. All right, so we're all right. We dropped on them. Nobody is shooting at us. Next group to move in. All right, we got four over here. A lot of fish in the water. See how we did. Like all three are gonna hit. Oh, well, you know. All right. There's four fish in each uh, each strike. Good magazine explosion, even if it was a dud. Oh, uh, got good hits here. Damn, well, this is turning out to be a nice one. It's awful lot of duds for uh, non-American torpedoes here. We got these guys. Like he's turning right into them. All right, one's down. Good hit on you. Are we going to get another hit? Oh, look at that. That's nice. That was a successful airstrike. That was a hell of a successful airstrike. A porpoise. Meanwhile... Check the damages. <laughs> They're sinking left and right. Oh, we didn't hit number two. Number six is heavy and heavy, so critical and heavy down here. Uh, number two. Steaming straight away. Gotta be shitting herself with all her buddies. Number six isn't looking good at all. For five, we've got one sunk and rolling over. Go swordfish. That was an impressive little strike there. 
Orpus, I want you to target number two. Too deep for radar, huh? All right. Well, you stay that deep for the time being. Uh, let's help our solution out and identify her. Uh, Porpoise may actually... Uh, they got guns, so... But... Alright, she's still turning. I don't know if this would even be worth it. Turning at 10 knots. Yeah, let's do it. Fire. Didn't even bother getting my scope up. May miss by a mile, but... May not. You never know. Alright, well, let's see what happens here. I'm liking the, uh... Fires really liking this attack. It was really successful. Good job, swordfish. And unfortunately, we aren't even close. These torpedoes. I raised my scope in hopes that they would uh, turn into them, but there they are out there. Probably a good thousand yards off but swordfish is moving in uh, three knots seven knots if the damage has uh, progressed any on these guys or if they're getting it fixed uh, critical and heavy on both you can identify them as uh, swordfish moves in sure it's the right one here. Oh, she's not even moving now. Doesn't have any guns either. If this guy wasn't here, he's got guns, or she's got guns, so I'm not going to mess with her. That she's going three knots. Swordfish is moving right along. We'll get into uh, position and uh, hopefully make a pretty successful strike on this guy. Maybe even move in on him. Who knows? Who knows? But Porpoise can uh, finish this convoy off. We may not have to. There we go. Right, Parpus. Danger uh, heading. Go after this guy. I honestly don't think we're gonna be able to catch up to him, but seven knots. We're doing seven knots, so it's gonna be a stern chase if we do. Is she uh, maneuvering at all? Yeah, she is a little bit. By the time we get up there, we should have a uh, few torpedoes. So we're going to get up there and possibly make a strike on this guy and leave one out of six ships alive.
Right, she's just spinning in a circle. Leads me to believe her rudder's damage here. We're gonna launch, uh... We're gonna launch all three right now. One degree spread. See how we do. It's, uh... 5,000 yards out. Still a little close. I don't want to really come up to the surface and then... Nope, that's... Eh, we might get lucky. I don't think we're gonna, though. Maybe. We get one in the stern. Or just barely miss. Come on. Come on. Oh, we... Just barely missed. It wouldn't take much to put her down either. Don't really want to go. I think my ship's on here. I guess I could come out around and reload. It looks like she's... Yeah, it says she's going 11 knots. Alright, let's see what happens here. Maybe able to take a stern shot with her. But she is just going in a circle after all. All right, Porpoise, we're gonna do this. We're gonna give it a shot, why not? Four torpedoes out, all manual. One degree spread, let's see what happens here. Oh, I just launched two. Oh, well that, that's probably not gonna work very good. Yeah, you can already see how it's not tracking where I need it to. Oh. Where the hell are they going? That'd be something if I actually hit them. Nope, not going to. She changed her turn. How about a jerk? Now, what's the range on this guy's guns? So tempted just to pop up to the surface and... Start shooting. Oh, there we go. Doesn't even say she has guns. Well... Okay. Because I have guns, I'm not going to worry about it. Get her up on the surface and take this guy out. Close enough. Oh, where are you going? Now you can actually catch up to him. Something just blew up. Hiratama Maru suffers... Who the hell would that be? Number six. Suffered a magazine explosion underwater. That's interesting. Alright. Guess I could take that. Get your guns in range. Or an arc. Or range. 14,000 yards. There we go.
Nice. My notes are missing. Don't make me take over our manual fire. There you go, couple good hits. Just blasting away. Started a fire, so that's a good thing. Don't miss too much. Try the uh, manual fire thing here. I miss him just as bad as the uh, AI. Corpus is definitely going to have to go back to rearm now. Peppering her all along the length of her hull there. Alright, hold your fire for now. I got torpedoes ready to go now. Oh, whoops. Holding fire. Now re aim the damages. Critical and heavy. Haven't done a damn thing to them. Magazine explosion would be nice. I don't even think our uh, rounds could penetrate the hull here. Okay, hold your fire. Stop hitting the side of the ship. Got to hit some of the uh, cargo areas here. Hey, hold your fire. We're going to put the round a little further out. See if we can get it into the cargo area instead of the side of the ship. Kind of fun watching the uh, rounds go out there. Hit the bullseye. <laughs> Alright, hold your fire. Got two torpedoes ready. Are we causing any critical and critical? I might as well keep going. Save our torpedoes for other things, I guess. I feel like it, or, you know. I feel like I get sick of doing this. There we go. Alright, hold 
under fire. Uh. Can we even hit her there? I didn't think we were gonna. Oh, we got armor piercing too? Oh, we didn't have any armor piercing. Let's switch to armor piercing here. Put some in Brewer Hall. It's taking on quite a bit of water. Okay, hold your fire. Kind of getting sick of doing this. I said, hold your fire. Oh well. Well, there we go. Like how there's a bit of delay between what you can see and what you can hear. Alright, fire that one torpedo. And he can turn back in. Keep up the uh, barrage here. In case it's a dud. Oh. That'd be so fun to watch. Yeah, hold your fire. If this torpedo did anything, watch it dink. Oh, hey, that's a dead merchant right there. And come to a stop. There we go. Persistence, I guess. Persistence pays off. All right, well, the other one is uh, nowhere to be seen, so we could probably leave here. Yep. So between our swordfish and the porpoise, we sunk uh, five out of the six. Not bad. Got two command points out of it. All right, that was up here. Swordfish, you can return to base. Now, what I expect next is a carrier be honest with you. But I keep saying that and one never shows up. I just see the planes. They're being really good about keeping them out of my sight. I give the AI credit on that one. Alright guys, on that note, I'm going to call this one to a close. It's always good to end an episode on a high note. That's what we got. Anyway, if you liked the episode, hit the like button. Tips and advice, as always, go in the comment section below. If you would like to follow along through our Abdicom adventure here with the uh, allies in the Java Sea, I wouldn't mind having you. The more the merrier. Uh, channel's getting pretty close to uh, 950 on our way to 1,000, so come along for the ride. It's fun. Yay, 76NY saying thank you very much for watching, and have yourself a very good day.